What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,240 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below, um, if you feel guided to do donate. Um... I appreciate all the recent donations and all the donations of the past. Um, I love you guys. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, oh, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. I received, uh, oh, this is for Aries. This is for Aries, not Aries. This could resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Sun, moon, name of your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, this is for July of 2022. However, everybody's on different time of life paths. There's seven point something, something billion people in the world. So for some, it could resonate in July. For some, past July. For some, one message may apply. For some, two. For some, two plus. For some, none. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So you only take the messages that resonate with the rest. I encourage everybody to check out that tarot, tarot card addiction video uh, that another reader posted. I mean, yeah, then another reader posted on YouTube. It was about a year ago when she did it, but I found it yesterday. It's a few videos down. Uh, maybe it's four or five down. You have to scroll down and get it, but um, it's very eye-opening. Um, this is not tarot card addiction. This is psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So it's whatever the spiritual realm guides me to put out. I make videos when I get the channel messages, and then when I do the... Um, Monthly um, and bi-weekly readings for you guys. Sometimes I do bonuses like I did last month. I'll sit here and meditate for a while until I receive messages. Or if I receive the messages with the sign, I get on here and y'all y'all know when I do because I tell you. So just I just want to clarify because tarot card addiction is very real. It's very real. Very real. So um, if anybody's struggling with tarot card addiction... I would highly suggest, or you know somebody that he is, I would suggest checking that video out because I feel more awareness needs to be brought to tarot card, uh, tarot card addiction. And I'm just being for real, okay? Spirit messages you have signed. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well um, for additional message or messages if they apply to you, okay? We have turtle and crocodile. For some, you could be dealing with earth sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midham, or Jupiter charts. If you are Aries, fire sign, earth sign, energy. You have daughter, romance, and wolf. I did receive a couple channel messages as I was meditating on your energy for July 2022. So I'm going to deliver them. I hope everybody's doing well. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aries. The first one I heard was Google, Google Maps. Google Maps. And the second one I heard abuse of power is about to be exposed soon. So Google Maps. So you could be utilizing Google Maps or somebody else is utilizing Google Maps or maybe you work for Google and you work in the Google Maps sector or somebody you're connected to does, how would that resonate? Some kind of Google Maps energy. Um, I love Google Maps and that's just the truth. I do personally, but everybody has their preferences. Um, I feel some of you guys might work in Google um, and you work in the Google Maps sector possibly. For some, maybe you just, um, you utilize Google Maps or you're about to download it on your phone or what have you, what have you. And then abuse of power is about to be exposed. So it could be you that has been abusing power or somebody you're connected to. Um, only you know if you're high vibrational or low vibrational. So you have to plug it into your own particular life and situation. How that resonates? Aries. Okay. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort, peacock, beware of great pride, ant, work achievement, success. Now, 
Number 33 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 33, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 33. An Aries that works at a Walmart is about to get a very, very, very significant complaint on them soon. For one at a Walmart, for one at a hospital. Huge complaint. It's about to cause a huge investigation. Many shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with these situations. It's going to unveil more than you expected it to unveil. For one, you will end up being terminated. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of, uh, oh, my Lord. So I don't know what's going on in your Walmart or your hospital there, Aries. But um, it doesn't sound like it's good, I'll tell you that. Um, whoever you are, I feel you're low vibrational if that resonates for you. Um, and I'm just being for real. Now, high vibrational Aries um, or high vibrational people, period. They treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. Low, low vibrational people, they don't. Of course, you guys have to plug yourself in where you fit uh, with the messages, message or messages. If you're not this situation, you're not this situation. If you are, you are. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? I am just a messenger. Please don't be mad at the messenger, okay? Uh, but in all seriousness, it sounds like low vibrational activity. Cover up. Cover up exposed. About to be. Cover up exposed. About to be. So some kind of cover up energy, either in this Walmart or this hospital or maybe both. But in one of these situations, I heard one of you guys is going to get terminated. Uh, it sounds like a rightful termination here. There's some been some kind of cover up and maybe for one i feel you're a uh, position of high authority because i heard abuse of power is about to be exposed so for one i strongly feel you're a uh, position of high authority whether you work at the walmart or you work at um, a hospital however that resonates aries but there's about it sounds like upcoming in the universe it's about to start with a very significant detrimental type complaint and it sounds like it's going to be on you or somebody you're connected to or a situation you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion, whether you work at Walmart or the hospital, okay? And it's going to snowball, series of chain of events with a huge investigation. And once the huge investigation occurs, it's going to start with a detrimental complaint. And that hasn't happened yet. But then it's going to snowball this huge-ass investigation. And once the huge-ass investigation occurs, I heard of one of these situations, whether you work a position, I feel a strongly feel a position of high authority at Walmart or a position of high authority at a hospital. For some, it may not be a position of high authority. You have to plug yourself in work fits. Um, one, you're going to be terminated. Um, and I think it might be for abuse of power. Um, and it start, it's going to start with this complaint. Um, whatever it is. I mean, it sounds like it's terrible. Whatever complaint it is. Um, I wonder if the complaint's going to come into the corp uh, corporate, um, and I'm just, I didn't hear it was, but I wonder if the complaint's going to come into corporate, because it sounds like a huge investigation is going to occur, meaning either managerial, boss, supervisor, or CEO type energy is going to get involved, or corporate, which corporate CEOs, and well, hell, I don't know, I've never worked in corporate, but um, however that resonates is what I'm trying to say, but doesn't sound good there, Aries. Just saying, just saying. Um, of course, if this doesn't resonate with you guys, you could know somebody this is about to happen to. Or you could be the one about to make this detrimental complaint on this Aries. How if this resonates? Because, um, you know, this is cross watchers are welcome too. So you plug it in how it resonates. Turtle.
A baby slowly growing. Some in an Aries womb, some in one of your friends' womb. Early gestation. Okay, I heard a baby slowly growing, some in your womb, some in somebody, a friend of yours' womb. So, one of you guys is pregnant, uh, whether you know you are or not, I, congrats. Um, I'm a strong believer in um, pregnancy tests and paternity tests, if needed. Just saying, just saying. But somebody's pregnant, whether you know you are or not. I heard early gestation, so I feel for some, you might not even know you're pregnant right now. Um, you could be early on, like two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe not even missed your period yet. How that resonates. But um, congrats if you want to be pregnant. Um, of course, only you know if you want to be pregnant or not. If it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. But I heard in one of these situations, it's Aries that's pregnant. For one, it's your friend that's pregnant. So I think it's another sign that's pregnant. Um, baby slowly growing. So turtle, slow and steady, gestating in the womb here. Slowly gestating. Buns cooking in the oven. Not in mine. Just saying, just saying. But congrats whoever this is for. Um, if you want to be pregnant, um, and for one, it's your friend. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So the turtle in this aspect is the slowly gestate, the gestation. It takes nine months for a child to, um, gestate in the womb. Um, well, if it's not preemie, um, normal is nine months. Standard is nine months. So, you know, it, it not nine days or nine hours, not boom, it's here. So slowly gestating turtles move slow so just saying just saying for some it could be an earth sign that has impregnated you or has impregnated your friend possibly because this is earth sign energy you plug it in how it resonates Crocodile. Hold on. I feel guided to do this one again. An Aries that is living in a home, a home they should not be living in. It is another person's home. They have not contributed anything financially to this home. Through many series of chain of events, they're about to be forced to move out. They are about to be pissed. Low vibrational Aries, which, yeah, that is a low vibrational Aries if I've ever heard it. So, one of you guys is living in a home you shouldn't be living in. And I've been picking that up for months and months and months and months. And that's just the truth. One of you guys is living in a home you're not supposed to be living in. I heard you don't even contribute. So, I don't even think you maintenance it correctly or pay rent or mortgage. I mean, you just live there for free? Like, who allows that kind of shit? Like, that blows my mind that even fucking occurs in the universe because it shouldn't. And that's just the damn truth. Um, it's at least for one of you guys out there, your logo racial Aries moocher, basically. I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to have to be forced to move out. And absolutely, because there's a thing called rent. And there's a thing called mortgage for us homeowners to actually pay our mortgage. Um, and there's a thing called accountability and responsibility. So one of you guys just likes to be a big ass moocher, but basically you're about to be forced to take responsibility and accountability because you're living there. You should, aren't you shouldn't even be living there. You don't even maintenance the damn shit, take care of it, or freaking pay rent. Yeah, no, nay, nay, boom, boom, boom. Just saying. I mean, if you need government housing, there, you know, go applying would be a smart idea. It's called HUD housing. If you need to research it on your phone. Okay. Crocodile.
a Scorpio masculine from your past is about to try to come back in a huge way. They want that booty. But he wants to do it very, very, very secretly. Know this. It'd be smart to transmute the energy and expose his ass very publicly. Oh my God. Okay, so Scorpio masculine from your past. I feel you have uh, been sexually connected to him because I heard he wants that booty. So whoever that's for, um, I strongly feel you have had sex with him before. I'm just keeping it 100. Um, if you haven't had sex with him before, he's wanted to have sex with you and he loves your booty. And I'm just being real for real for you. Um, how that resonates. But he's about to try to reconcile with you soon. So it hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like upcoming, he's going to try to reconcile with you. Because he wants that booty. He likes, to, he wants to tap that ass. Basically. Okay. Um, whoever this is for. Only you would know if you've been connected to a Scorpio masculine in the past, sexually, or one that wanted your ass. Uh, literally. And I'm serious. Um, it's a Scorpio masculine. He can have Scorps in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and mid-haven, Jupiter charts. But I heard he wants to do it secretly. So he wants to keep you secret and hidden. So he doesn't take accountability and responsibility, and so it doesn't get made public and be blown up. It doesn't affect his career. It doesn't affect his public image. It doesn't affect him. He wants you to keep it on DL. But through many series of chain of, um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I heard it would be smart for you to expose it. I heard it'd be smart for you to transmute the energy and expose his ass. So it wouldn't be smart to have sex with him for sure, if this resonates for you. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it. But I'm an old ass woman with a lot of experience and a lot of light. So you can take it or leave it. 38, just saying. I heard it'd be smart to expose him. So one, it would not be smart to have sex with him. Two, it would not be smart to allow him in your energy field, period, or minimal contact because he wants the booty. He wants the JJ. You're a femme. You're an Aries femme. I really strongly feel your Aries fib. And three, it'd be smart to transmute the energy and expose him publicly. I think for whoever this is for, you might have a very public social media platform, whether it's Facebook, Insta, uh, Parlay, what, I don't know, whatever the social media platforms are these days, I only use Facebook, okay? Um, or you could have a money-making business social media platform like this, however that resonates, okay? But I, however that resonates, I heard be smart to expose him. So whether it's just on a regular social media platform that doesn't give you revenue or one that does, I don't know. That's exactly what the hell I would do. I'd call his ass out. And that's just the truth. He, um, I think you've had sex with him before. Has most certainly had sex with him before. The sex addictions are creeping back. Have most certainly had sex addict. Uh, you've most certainly have had sex with him before, and I heard the sex addictions are creeping back. So he's a very sex addicted person, and the sex addictions are creeping back. Meaning, he hasn't worked on. Well, he might have worked on himself, but somehow they're creeping back. I don't know how. I'm not him, so I can't speak on that. Only you know who this person is, not anybody else. I feel he's coming as a crocodile energy. Um. Wanting to tap that ass energy. I mean, I'm serious. He wa he wants to come in, take a bite of the a chomp of that ass, and then flight back out. He reminds me of like a knight energy or a page energy, flighty player in and out energy. Chomp on that ass one night. I mean, one uh fifty dollar make you hot like a Pac Man shit. But then he's gonna flight back out because all he wants is to chomp on that ass. Chomp 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 chomp. And whoever you are, you probably have a nice ass. I'm pretty sure you do. But is it really worth demeaning your self-respect? No. Uh, of course, you can choose to demean your self-respect if you want to.
A very ill Taurus parent is about to become very extremely aggressive to an Aries. It'd be very smart to um, keep your energy very separated from this person. As separated as you can. A very aggressive Taurus parent um, is about to become, it sounds like a significant part of your life, Aries. Um, I heard they're going to be very aggressive and angry over something. I don't know what the hell it is. Only you know what it is, not anybody else. But I heard it be very smart to keep your energy se as separated as you can from this person. So this is your Taurus parent. I feel it could be a Taurus, masculine or feminine. Um, whoever you are. Um, Aries, um, this is your Taurus parent in this aspect, aggressive over something. Um, maybe they, maybe they just are angry. Maybe they're a militant style parent, um, and they're just naturally angry. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Or maybe they truly are aggressive and angry over something legit. I don't know, but they're coming as the crocodile energy, very angry. Um, Crocodiles go after what the hell they want. They go in, get it, and freaking leave, man. It's like a flighty player in and out energy. For, um, I'm serious. You've got an earth sign coming in as a freaking fire sign crocodile. Just saying, just saying. Um, I heard it be an uh, your parent. I think it's either your foster parent or a biological parent. However that resonates. But however that resonates, they're not going to come in nice. Uh, either something has antagonized them or irritated them to become angry and aggressive, or they're just naturally militant, angry and aggressive. How that resonates? I didn't hear they were militant style, but it just kind of reminds me of that because I used to have a charge nurse at this last hospital that was very angry and militant, and he just naturally was like that, and that's just the damn truth. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Door to romance. An Aries feminine, high vibrational Aries femme husband is about to do something very, very, very sweet for her. He's very high vibrational. It's going to be a huge surprise and you're going to love it. Wonderful couple. Oh, now, I love messages like this, Aries fam. You're legally married. You're both high vibrational, whoever you are, ma'am. I love this one. Um, whoever you are, ma'am. You're a very high vibrational Aries fam. So you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. And your husband does too. So you're a woman, Aries fam, and you're legally married to a high vibrational masculine. Um... You both are very high vibrational. You both have worked on yourself, done healing and shadow work and growth and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're there, baby, baby. Um, I heard he's about to surprise you uh, with this very wonderful surprise soon. So it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming in the universe, ma'am. He's going to surprise you. And I heard it's going to be wonderful and you're going to love it. So I think he wants to chomp at that booty too, but he can legally have it. And it sounds like you let him legally have it. And it sounds like it's mutual. So there's nothing wrong with that, ma'am. Chomp, chomp, chomp. That's wonderful. Uh, maybe you're the one that's about to get pregnant, maybe. Or you are pregnant. I don't know. Somebody's pregnant in here. Um, I think it's going to lead to some nookie is what I'm saying. Because we got door to romance. I mean, only you know if you're going to give him some nookie after this. But it sounds like, in all fairness, he deserves it. You go with your bad self, ma'am. Now, I don't know. You you go with your bad self. Door to romance. I think you're going to be very surprised in a wonderful way by this. And I think you're going to love it. And I think you, if you don't give him nookie, you might at least maybe give him a hug and a kiss. I, I'm just saying, just saying. Sounds like he deserves. Deserves it, ma'am. But only you know your situation, not anybody else. I love that one. <laughs> It can be an earth sign or a fire sign. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Oh. In all, in all seriousness, it sounds like he truly loves you. And I'm just being serious. It sounds like he truly, truly loves you. And you know this. 
confirmation. Oh man, I got so excited at Jeff's card. And this ain't even me. I heard he truly loves you. And but you know this. You know this. So he's proved it to you. You proved it to him. Oh, this is a oh, see, one day maybe for me, but probably hell not. Um, I gotta get the hell out of my toxic community first. Um, get out into the world and uh, same individuals, not this toxic ass community, and that's just the truth. I mean, not everybody in this community is toxic. Um, just the ones I've been around in workplace situations. Now, when I go out in business situations, I go out for my services, everybody's cool with me. It's the workplace environments where people are fucking bucket, nugget to your fucking bucket. Uh, I don't know what the hell is wrong with people, but they just need chill, and that's just the truth. A box of chocolates is about to become very significant in Aries' life. A box of chocolates is about to become very significant in Aries' life. An estate investigation cover-up is about to blow up. Know this. One, you're going to help it blow up. One, you've been covering it up. Okay. And I heard a state investigation is, uh, is about to blow up. So about to be exposed, basically. One, you're going to help it be exposed. One, you're going to, you've been covering it up. So only you know if you're high vibrational and you're going to help expose it or you're low vibrational and you've been covering it up. Some kind of state investigation. I feel you could work in this state or work for entity connected to the state in some shape, form, or fashion. I uh, feel for some you could work at um, long-term cares, assisted living, or some, um, skilled nursing, something like that. Um, or any other entity connected in, with, I mean, Department of Transportation, or there's a million entities connected into um, the state. So, however, it could be Department of Education. I mean, um, well, yeah, they do with the state, too. Um, however that resonates, I don't know. I think a lot of nursing because I'm a nurse, but... How does that resonate? I don't know. But um, one, you're going to help expose it, and one, you're going to, you're, you've been covering it up. But it's about to basically blow out of hell. Um, so, whichever end you're on there, Aries, there's at least two Aries in here. One, you're going to help expose it, one, you've been covering it up. So you have to plug yourself in when you fit. That's not door to romance. An Aries masculine is about to, single Aries masculine is about to, through many series of chain events, meet the love of his life, another fire sign, through an activist group. One, it's a political event. See, that's why I want to meet the love of my life one day, either at a political event or an activist group. And I'm just being for real. Um, once I get out of this toxic ass community, and that's just the truth, but that's just me. Okay, so Air, you, I feel your high vibrational Aries masculine. This resonates for you, sir. Your single's a Pringle, just like me. Your single's a Pringle. Um, I don't know if you're looking for love. You could either be looking for love or not looking for love, however that resonates, but you're going to find it whether you want to or not. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet, but it's upcoming in the universe. Through many series of chain events, I heard you're uh, one of you guys is going to meet this person through an activist group, so that could be online or in um, or in the 3D community and world you live in. Um, and one at a um, through a political event or events or a political organization. How that resonates? Some kind of politics energy for one one um, activist group. So um, door to romance, baby. I mean, you're gonna meet this i mean it sounds like you haven't met him yet or for some you could have already met him but um uh, you're gonna fall in love with him um it's another fire sign and it can be a masculine or feminine fire sign they could have aries leo sage and their sun moon rising venus north no midhaven or jupiter charts if that resonates for you sir 
um, beautiful energy. Um, like I said, um, it could be a homosexual relationship or a heter heterosexual. Uh, I didn't hear. I just heard fire sign. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir. That's beautiful. We've gotten some good and some bad in here. Of course, there's good and bad in all signs. Wolf. Y'all know I'm actually think of the damn wolf pukes this shit, and that's just the truth. Someone dressing up as Red Riding Hood is about to become very significant in a Aries life. For one, it is a drag queen. For one, it is a child. Okay. I heard someone dressing up as uh, Little Red Riding Hood is about to become very significant in a Aries life. For one, it is a drag queen dressing up as Little Red Riding Hood. And for one, it is... Um, a child dressing up as Little Red Riding Hood. For some, it could be your child about to dress up as Little Little Red Riding Hood or somebody you're connected to's child dressing up as Little Red Riding Hood. For some, it's a drag queen. So, hell, it could be you. If you like to drag queen, it could be you dressing up as Little Red Riding Hood, Riding Hood or somebody you know dressing up as Little Red Riding Hood. Hell, I don't know. I don't I don't know any drag queens. Uh, I have nothing against drag queens, but I don't know any. So, however that resonates. But uh, wolf here, you know, Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. So that's what I think of here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Gonna huff and puff and blow your little house down. Woof! Or at least try. In one community, the Secret Seven is about to very publicly be known as the Secret Seven. It's about to embarrass the hell out of an Aries. Embarrass the hell out of them. In one community, oh Lord. In one community, I heard the Secret Seven is about to be very, very, very publicly known, actually, as the Secret Seven, very publicly. And it's about to embarrass the hell out of an Aries. Embarrass the hell out of them. Double deuces confirmation. confirmation. So it's about, it sounds like in the public, it's about to be known as the Secret Seven. Like, it sounds like they've been keeping it on the hush-hush and the DL, probably through secret texts and chats and maybe the wow communication. I've been pulling in. You know, somebody's about to send to the feds. But... How that resonates, uh, World of Warcraft is wow for anybody doesn't know. But, um, yeah, um, Secret 7 about to be made very publicly known. I think one of you guys was part of the four members of Secret 7, possibly. Or you connected to somebody in the Wolf Puke and Wolf Pup clan. How that resonates. Many legal actions are about to come soon and quickly regarding this. One Aries really needs to hear this. One, it's going to be on you. Many legal actions are about to come soon and quickly uh, regarding this. For one of you guys, it's going the legal actions are going to be on you, and it doesn't sound your, like that's positive there. So wolf pup, wolf puke energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. Secret seven. I'm tired of this shit. These people should never done what the fuck they did. That's just the truth. Um, but many legal actions are coming soon. Uh, it sounds like in a particular toxic ass wolf puke and wolf pup community, they need to be neutered. Um, and I heard one of you guys, it's on you. So, um, and you will not win this. And many shocking negative series of shame events are going to come that's going to worsen this regarding this legal action. And many shocking negative series of chain events are about to come regarding this worsening this legal action. So one of you guys is going to be in the thicket of this shit. I think you might have been a core member of the Secret Seven or connected to a core member of the Secret Seven. But however that resonates, want many legal actions coming regarding Secret Seven, wolf pup, wolf puke, what have you, what have you. But one of them is going to be on you, low vibrational Aries. I strongly feel you were a core member of the Secret Seven or connected to one. But then many shocking series of time events are going to occur that's going to worsen these legal action or actions or maybe it was charges coming. I didn't hear there were charges coming or indictments or something. I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. But it doesn't sound good for you there, Aries. If you, Only you know if you deal with wolf the wolf pups or the wolf pukes. Um, for everybody else, obviously I not. Um, you might know of this situation or know somebody connected to it. Um, 
or maybe not. I don't know. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. Those assholes need to be neutral. Tower, solid foundation, successful effort. A new job at a plant. One Mazda plant, one Toyota plant. Okay, I heard a new job, one at a, um, a manufacturing plant. One at a, uh, heard a Toyota plant, one at a Mazda plant. So um, it looks like you will have successful effort if you, uh, and you'll be able to lay a solid foundation and really build your pinnacles up and build your wealth up and build your stability up if you put a lot of success into it here. Um, and you'll be able to build a foundation. Doesn't sound like somebody's going to try to manipulate it behind the scenes to get you wrongfully terminated or uh, blase, 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 or at least I hope not. That's not the energetic space I'm pulling in right now, but it doesn't mean it ain't going to change in two weeks. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates there, sir, ma'am. But it sounds like you have just recently acquired this job at the Mazda uh, plant or the Toyota plant, or you're about to. Um, and you, they usually play pay really, really, really good at Mazda plants and Toyota plants. And that's just the truth. Um, I'm being, just being for real. So congrats to whoever that's for. Pe peacock, beware of great pride. A high vibrational Aries fam is about to show a home soon. Very quick sale and very expensive home. You're going to get a very large commission from this. And one of these Aries feminines, you're very high vibrational. You will uh, pay it forward to one of your favorite readers through many series of chain events. Wow. Okay. You're in a high vibrational Aries feminine. Um, I pull in a lot of high vibrational Aries feminine energy. Whoever you are, you're a realtor. So you're a licensed realtor, ma'am. Um, congrats, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, but there's at least two of you in here. There's at least two licensed realtors, high vibrational licensed realtors, whoever you are, ma'am. Um, one, uh, okay. It sounds like both of you guys are about to, uh, show, a very, I heard very expensive home soon. Um, and I heard it's going to turn over quick. It's going to sell quick. So whoever the hell, somebody really wants to stay at home and apparently they can afford it or they think they can afford it. How that resonates. It's going to turn over really, really freaking quick. You're going to, um, so you are showing this home. You were the licensed realtor. It, they're going to love this home. They want it. They're going to buy it. Boom. Transaction between you and this client. Um, but you're going to get a commission. Of course, realtors get commissions. I had a realtor one this for this home. And that's just the truth. Um, you guys get commissions. Trust me. I, that's the damn truth. I know because I had a realtor for this home. Um, when it was sold to me about five, five actually five years ago today. 7-1-2022. I've had this home five years today for anybody doesn't know. And that's just the truth. Um, so, yeah. So, um, someone's getting a huge ass wake up call, huge, another Aries. They're about to make a very, 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 very important phone call soon, soon and quickly. Someone's getting a huge ass wake up call, very high vibrational Aries. They're about to get a huge ass fire lit on their ass very soon and very quickly. Very high vibrational Aries. They're about to get a huge ass fire lit under their ass soon and quickly. Okay, high vibrational Aries. Holy moly, slow down. Like, um, well, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, I don't know. Um, you're high vibrational Aries, um, sir, ma'am. Um, you're about to get a huge ass fire lit under your ass about something, sir, ma'am. And um, you're about to make a very important phone call soon and quickly. And I'm not telling you to slow your roll. No, um, I'm a fire sign myself. I get it. But something's about to spark an, a fire inside of you but it sounds like a positive transmuting of the energy fire and you're about to make a phone call very soon and quickly but it's because something has 
brought something to your attention or is about to or something of that nature. Um, but it's going to cause you to take quick fire sign action. We all know as fire signs, we know that. Quick fire sign action. Just say, just say, say. Um, it's about to turn out very, 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 very well for you and another feminine energy. Flies are being exposed. It's about to turn out very, very, very well for you and another fem energy. Lies are being exposed. So you go with your bad self, high vibrational Aries. It's about to get your fire lit under your ass and it's about to transmute the energy. Heard it's going to turn out very well for you and another fem energy. Uh, I'm assuming another high vibrational fem energy. You can be a masculine or fem over here about to do this, but you're dealing with a, another fem energy. Um, Maybe you're going to get high honor and she's going to get high honor. You're both going to get high honor or something. But you are about to transmute the energy, baby. Sir, ma'am, you're very high vibrational. So you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. You're about to transmute the energy. Okay. So that that one, you plug it in, how it resonates. I was talking about real estate. And then, boom, I get that message. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. So back to the other one. So you're too... Um, your two real estate agents, right? Um, about to show show this very expensive home. You're about to get commission. You're about to get commission, but it's about to turn over very, very quickly. You're about to get commission for it. Um, it's going to be a large commission because commissions are based on the value of the home sold. And I know that because five years ago when I bought this home, um, my realtor explained all that to me, which I researched a lot of it before I connected with her anyways. But yeah. So you're about to um, get a large commission for this, basically. And then I heard once you, well, two of you are at least. Um, but one of you is going to turn around after that with your large commission of selling this very expensive, nice home um, that I think is going to sell for a pretty penny. Um, and you're going to donate to one of your favorite readers, I heard. So um, one of you guys has a favorite reader like a tarot reader or a spiritualist or a, um light worker or a life coach or what have you what have you how that resonates um i think you watch this person often or or you just enjoy their readings but i think they resonate with you for some it could be um, a psychic like me or not but how that resonates you like them for a reason whoever it is it's a fem energy and you're about to um give a donation to them real estate ma'ams whoever you are that for one you're going to do that the other one it doesn't sound like you're going to do that only you know the life choices you're going to make here and if you're going to give a donation or not okay so you plug it in how it resonates and work achievement success i'm sorry peacock beware of great pride A very cocky Libra and feminine energy is about to try to re-enter your life. One, you are a reader. One, it is your cousin. One, it is your cousin's cousin. You're going to transmute the energy. For some, you're going to block this person. For some, it will be very minimal communication. For some, you're going to call the federal agents. Good God. A huge-ass criminal. A huge-ass criminal. I've been picking in a, a picking up a criminal Libra in here for these readings, this read, this strand of readings, uh, and the last strand of readings, I've been picking up a very criminal Libra fem, uh, whoever this person is and how they resonate. One of them is about to be on the run, like considering literally moving countries. So if they get caught, it, it'll be a whole legal process of having to extradite your ass back, basically. Like that serious. Um, whoever this person is, they're very smart and intelligent just on the criminal side, which is it's good to be smart and intelligent, but don't use it onto the negative four side. And that's just the truth. Um, but Libra Femme Energy Criminal, um, for some of you guys, it is your cousin. For some, it is a um, 
you for some you're a reader so a light side tarot, uh, tarot reader i'm feeling light side spiritualist tarot card reader light worker you're on the light side i feel i don't feel you're like deep secret dark art spiritualist or any shit like that uh etc 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 ma'am or oh no not ma'am i don't know why i said ma'am you can be masculine or feminine you can be masculine or femme reader whoever you are for some, the criminal Libra femme, okay, so you're the reader and the criminal Libra femme is going to contact you. I heard for some, you're going to block her. For some readers, you might contact her, but I mean, you might um, engage in conversation with her. For some, you may not. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But for at least one Aries reader out there, um, you're going to block her. Uh, I think she's a person of your past and you know who this person is and you don't want to deal with it. You might refuse service for some. For some, you may not. Only you know your story and anybody else, Aries reader. Okay? Uh, for one, you're going to call the FBI on her. So you might be the reader that calls the FBI on her or not. I don't know. For one, you are her cousin. So you're her cousin. So I don't know if you're going to block her or call the FBI on her. Because those are the, what I said, uh, not what I said, what I heard is going to happen here. So I don't know how you're going to handle this, Aries. Her, she is your cousin. So I think your blood cousin or a foster cousin, how that resonates. For one, she is your cousin's cousin. So I'm a, if, however that resonates, she's your cousin's cousin. I heard you're either going to block her or you're going to call the FBI on her. We got Federal Bureau of Investigations energy in here. But she's going to come off very cocky, very prideful. I think she's going to come in. Um, and maybe you're going to deeply deflate the ego, like pop the ego, um, burst the ego bubble there. Um, I think she might come in like better than thou kind of energy, holier than thou kind of energy is what I'm feeling. Um, but you're going to, some, I think you're going to pop that bubble boom, by blocking her ass or blocking her ass and calling the FBI. How that resonate? For some, you might communicate with her. You have to plug yourself in how you fit. Are you the Aries reader? Um, are you the cousin, her cousin, blood cousin, or adopted cousin, or what have you, what have you? Are you a cousin of her cousin? How that resonates. Work, achievement, success. I feel you could all be masculine or feminine. So you have to plug yourself in how you fit there, Aries. But it's a Libra feminine criminal. She could have leads in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, him, or Jupiter charts. But whoever you are over here, you know she is. And work, achievement, success. An Aries feminine. Reader, very light side reader, particular video, online social media platform, particular video is about to be very, very, very popular soon because it's the truth. It is about to go very, very, very viral. Okay. So you plug in how it resonates. You're an Aries fan. Um, reader, light side reader. So you're not no secret dark arts spiritualist or what have you, what have you. I don't know. But um, I heard um, it's basically going, the video is going to go viral um, or viral-esque um, because I heard it's true. It's true. So it's some kind of tarot card reading. It sounds like you're about to do, ma'am. It sounds like you haven't done it yet, but you're about to. Um, it's going to give you achievement and success in your career as a light side tarot reader, light side spiritualist, um, or maybe you're a psychic or an intuitive, maybe for some, you have to plug yourself in how you fit, whatever you call yourself. Um, but, um, I heard, it, I heard it's going to go viral or viral S because it's true. So I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people or it has resonated with a lot of people. Um, congrats, ma'am. Who are, I mean, you haven't made the video yet. You have an online popular social media platform, but you're about to. Um, however that resonates, okay?
A stop hold on a check is about to become very significant in an Aries life. A stop hold on a check is about to become very significant in Aries life. And a very toxic air sign masculine is about to try to get you to do drugs again. This would not be smart. Okay. Um, and a um, stop hold is about to become very significant on a check soon. So it could be you putting a stop hold on a check or somebody you're connected to putting a stop hold on a check. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, and for one of you guys, I heard um, a very toxic um, air sign masculine is about to try to get, uh, convince you to do drugs again. Now, I don't know what kind of drugs those are. I feel it might be hard stuff or it might be prescription, pain pills, uh, nar narcotics, opioids, et cetera, et cetera. Only you know, I mean, this hasn't happened yet. The stop hold on the check hasn't happened yet, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. And the air sign masculine whether he's currently in your life or he's um, a person of your past hasn't happened yet either, um, trying to convince you to do drugs. But whatever it is, it's either an illicit street or illegal drug, or it is like prescription pain pills, opioids, narcotics, or something of that nature. Or it might be, it might be like ADHD medicine or something like that as well, too, possibly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, possibly. I mean, I don't know. Um, I didn't hear what kind of drug it was. But, you know, sometimes people abuse like um, ADHD medication or um, and things of that nature. And that's just the truth. Um, my son has ADHD and he has for um, a while. And I can only speak on this because it's my son, you know. And, um, of course, if it was another child, I wouldn't come on here and speak of their health condition. Absolutely not. But... My, everybody that knows me knows my son's had a ADHD for a long time. And of course, um, I'm his legal guardian. Um, but of course, I wouldn't come on here and speak on anybody else's child with conditions. And that's the truth. But he's my son. So just saying, just saying. But anyway, so, but he takes ADHD medication and he has for a long time. Of course, his medications have changed over the years. But my point is, People uh, abuse, people abuse medications, especially ADHD medications. Um, the kind of medication he takes, I've seen and heard of people out in my community bragging, taking their kids to go in there to get medication for their kids. And then they go in the bathroom and pop some fucking pills, their own kids' medicine. And that's the truth. That is the truth. Cold, hard truth. Bragging to their co-workers. I mean, how sickening is that? That's another reason why I don't like working out in the my fucking toxic ass community. And that's just the truth. I know how shy these assholes are. And I know, um, I know these people at my last workplace, they probably associate with those assholes. Go out and party with them on the fucking weekend for all we know. I don't know. I don't associate with them. And that's just the damn truth. But it's sickening to know that kind of shit happens. Because it does. It does happen. A Taurus is about to become very significant in Aries' life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. And a Taurus is about to lie to an Aries soon. And one, they're about to tell you the truth. Okay. Heard a Taurus is about to become very significant in an Aries' life soon. Um, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. For one of you guys, the Taurus is going to lie to you. One, they're going to tell you, um, tell you the truth. So... You have to plug this Taurus in, how they resonate. Um, Taurus masculine. Taurus masculine. It's a Taurus masculine. So they have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, hammer, Jupiter charts. It's, it's a man. Or wannabe man, I guess. Boy man, maybe for some. Hopefully it is a real man man. Um, but they could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, hammer, Jupiter charts. For some, they're going to lie to you. For some, they're going to tell you the truth. Some, they're coming in as a positive energy. Some is a negative energy, basically. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. Heavy Taurus masculine energy. Okay. A flight is about to become very significant in Aries' life.
and a broke down appliance. A flight is about to become very significant in Aries' life and a broke down appliance? So somebody taking a flight, catching flights, not feeling? That's my motto, just saying, just saying. Um, somebody about to take a flight. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. That's my motto. And I can, it's going to happen soon. Just saying, just saying. Get the hell out of this dodge. For sure, for sure. Um, and, um, and what was the other one? There was another one. You have to go back and check it. All right. I love you guys. We're almost at an hour. Love y'all. Namaste.